In my last video, I gave you a tour around my van. Obviously, we're still in the lockdown, so to do it, I drove down the other side of the field, at the same time giving Lance a little walk. It wasn't the setting I was planning for my tour, but down here in the dip it looked pretty damn picturesque, if not a little bit like the Windows XP background. I got set up and went through everything that was needed, made a nice flask of coffee and got all the external stuff recorded down here. Once that was done I played a bit of fetch with Lance and then just sat back and enjoyed a little bit of seclusion. Don't get me wrong, I love Camp Ambelise, but from time to time I've got to have a bit of seclusion. Don't we all? A bit later on I hit the bumpy track on the way back to camp. After so long it felt quite strange driving again. Once back I set about editing until dinner time and then we'd all decided to do stews. They were supposed to be two pots of the same but I got a little bit carried away so in the end Marie made one and I made one. Sweet potato, never done it. So yeah. do you get rid of the light stuff as well or? I'll leave the skin on. Oh do you? Yeah. Oh, I'll do one with one without it. Yeah, don't worry about it. I've just put a veggie stock in here. Yeah. I'll stick another one in then. Okay. I'm about to crack open a cider, I reckon. And get some trousers on. Well we cracked on with the stews yeah, after set about making some dumplings until we realised that we didn't have the ingredients for dumplings so we instead he knocked up some dough and made dough balls in the pizza oven. I know. The rocket stoves are still getting a fair bit of use, the novelty definitely hasn't worn off yet. You just can't beat cooking outside with mates. Good. High-tech spatula. Oh, oh, bang on. It looks like rocket, doesn't it? Yeah, it really it does. does. It don't taste like it though. Well, not raw. I'll just get it in. Bang it in. Yeah. Give it a rinse first. Too dark. Oh wow. Don't forget your oven testicles. I'm going for testicles now. Oh, oven so testicles, good. where are they? Mm. Oh, oh metal plate, metal bowls even white. Why did I buy these metal plate, metal stupid plate. items? Well that's getting heavy. No, I'm a cider. <laughs> oh, you bastard. How is it, folks? Oh, it's the one. Yeah. On the right. It started peeing it down, but underneath the awnings, it didn't hinder the night at all. My stew had a tomato kick to it, whereas Marie's was more herb and seasonings, but both were delicious. Topped with Ash's handcrafted dough balls, it made quite the meal. 
I think there's one left on there. Oh, the dough balls. Oh my god. Oh my god. Maybe we could stuff them with like tomato puree, oh, yeah. cheese, and bits. Thing is, you can make it like a day task, can't you? <clears throat> Keep the fire low mm. and let the loaves burn, you know, cook throughout the day. Yeah, true. Large portion of the night was discussing bread and what else we could make from scratch. Sweet potato and tomatoes actually goes really well. It does. <laughs> Quickest build ever. I have to refine it tomorrow. After a morning spent in the hammock, we decided to get started on the chicken coop. The base of it being an old rabbit hutch we'd found in a bush, and the rest just being out of materials that we'd found. Do you know if one starts eating eggs, we're going to have to get rid of them? It took all day, but we were both absolutely in our element. Trying to figure out how stuff's going to work with just stuff that we've got is really, really fun. But as per usual, Camp Amboliste provided everything we needed. It was scary how much stuff there was, just perfect for the job. Well, the camera died, but it's now clad. Right, 
feathers turned a bit, but um, Ashley's been getting on with the roof. I'm about to go and have a phone call. The basic idea is this bit will be the um, coop where they'll all come up and roost. That area will be kind of like their like smaller run kind of thing, and then once we build a bit out here, they'll have a bigger area to come out and actually kind of chill out. Once the chickens have got used to being called back by having something shaken when they get fed, um, we'll eventually just let them go off into the field, I think. Um, and yeah, eggs every day. Call it a night soon. Right, cut that. That actually looks not built out of shit. <laughs> that night I decided to have a quiet one. I was pretty knackered from all the building. And after an in-depth conversation with Jez about the mighty bush, I decided it was time for a marathon, complete with popcorn that I'd found in the cupboard. So that was popped on the log burner. Today will be forever known as Dick Day. If you haven't seen that famous New Zealand commercial, you probably wondered what the hell I'm on about. But basically we found a load of old trellis and what looked like an old shed buried in this bush. We were just gonna cut and dig them out, but why do that when you've got a Land Rover with a winch on it? Jess came straight to the rescue. And soon we had enough materials to build a deck outside of each van. Really, I'm just holding it off. Right, so today we're finding out how long this lockdown is going to go for even longer. We're pretty confident it's going to be another month at least, so Jesse's going to join us. We're going to get this old knackered Vivaro. A lot of you asking about the Vivaro, that's just some, it's just a van that uses a shed. It's, it's going to winch that out of the way, and Jesse's going to move his um, Mirage into its place so he can join the camp. Um, although it's the deadest batch I've ever seen, literally not even registering point of a vault. Cut. Boost. Unfortunately, Ash's van had shared the same fate. So in a camp of completely dead vans. Mine is on solar. Oh, nearly. Not gonna lie, it's in Scotland. I'm a little smug that it's me rescuing people now. Just gotta give a bit of a rev to get some more power in there. Van is really flat. So no to go. go. I'll um I'll wedge my high tech cruise control in and let it rev up. Wouldn't anybody care for a sweet? 
the battery on the Mirage was just too far gone, so that was that part of the window. But at least one van got going. It's alive! Huh? I'm getting jealous of this. Yeah, I hate you so much right now. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> Damn it. So unsafe. Huh? So unsafe. Nah. Well, not like, unless you do what I did in Scotland and left it in gear and then revved it up on a cliff. Got a dick. I think Bolski proves is yours. <laughs> as fast as the deck went down, it came back up again so that I can move the van forward and let Marie's van pull into the camp a little bit more. Anyway, back to brush. The next day we gave Jez a hand getting this Land Rover ready for sale. 
Ash sorted out the side step and some door issues, and I fitted a new head unit with hands-free and some dash and electrical issues. I have good day workshop music, bad day workshop music. <laughs> what is this for, Linda? <laughs> Dance, come on mate, out of the rain. Oi. Come on. Oh, well I went for a 20 minute nap and it's now 8pm. Whoops. Oh, I think all of us today has just been a write off day. We caught wind of news about government trying to stop all the people van dwelling and that shit. Um, I don't know enough yet to talk about that, but it doesn't sound particularly great. And basically what we saw coming, to be honest. Um, laws just getting fired into place with all this pandemic and obviously they're gonna fire in stuff that's gonna screw so many people. UK government for you. Basically summed up the mood of the camp today. <laughs> great viewing. But uh, we're supposed to be doing a live in half an hour. Um, whether it happens or not, I don't know. Because nobody's really in a great mood today. Um, and to be fair, with all the abuse we get, keep getting, it's not really spurred us on to do it. But we'll see. Anyway, um, I better get myself looking spruced up because I look like a the hobo at the minute. We ended up going ahead with the live and the people on there really cheered us up. It was a great laugh, so thank you if you're on there. The following day, our feathered new additions came to camp. Let me introduce the new arrivals. Here comes Am. <laughs> There's Bol. Bring up the rear is East. Is that the names or are we going for the Korma, Tika and Masala? <laughs> I don't know about you, but I can't tell the difference between them. No. Well, one's definitely clucky. We originally aimed at getting some ex battery hens, but with the current situation, beggars can't be choosers. So our chickens were technically teenagers and hadn't matured yet. So they'll need some time to settle into their new home and mature a little before they start laying. Lance was especially intrigued as to the new arrivals, so I decided to take his mind off it by playing a bit of ball. Playing with Lance's favourite toy, it's Corona Ball. Come on then. What is it? Is it your favourite thing? It's totally inappropriate. Come on then. Fetch me the Corona Ball. But it makes him so happy. <laughs> Look at the face with the Corona ball. <laughs> He's already gone. Within a few hours, two of the three had settled in and got brave enough to head outside. Followed shortly by the third. <laughs> yeah. Nice seed. Make them eggs for me, you brutes. I decided to upgrade my solar situation. The recent bad weather had shown that it were a bit flimsy and they also couldn't tilt. So I was making a change to that. 
Now, through this, Ash is playing some music that will end up getting me a copyright strike, which is just always a pain when you're a creator. But with some choice words, I've come up with a cunning plan to overcome this. Toast, spatula. Cheese. Elbow. Boggle. Nipples. There we are, copyright free, handled professionally, and the job is done. For a while now, I really fancied trying my hand at making a Swedish candle. There's a few different ways you can do it, and most of the time you use a big log and you can use it for cooking. But I just wanted to make a little trial one for a torch. This log I was cutting seemed dry and cut beautifully right through to the centre, but then the very middle was was sticky, horrible to cut, every saw just kept getting stuck. I have no idea, there's like millimetres holding it on. Yeah. Go on, son. I hope you put all of this clip in. What, me sweating and breathing like a f***ing asthmatic? <laughs> you will be a Swedish candle. Don't we trust me? Yeah. So what do you think I was doing? Huh? That's too small, isn't it? Yeah, not for a little light, a little cooking off it. I mean, if I'm struggling to get through this, I can cook one of them up. Where's the chainsaw? That sounded healthy. Yeah. Don't say that, there's cameras on. <laughs> oh, hang on. Oh! Huh? I won't take credit. <laughs> yes. Oh. Yay! Yay! <laughs> oh. I'm a man! That's what was holding on. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> what? I tried chopping what was left and felt my struggle. Oh, that's stuck. Oh dear. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, it's over here. It's rolled away. I'm trying to escape. There is no escape from your destiny now, you little <laughs> tool I did want to use used to, should fit in there, but because this is so old, it won't. Like I said, there's a few different ways of doing these, but the method I'm trying is drilling a hole down the centre, then I'll drill a hole in the side and try and join the two together. Creating a small fire on the inside, in theory, should burn it from the inside out, the side hole acting as a vent and the top acting as a chimney. Well done, walk straight through the dust cloud. Absolute penis. Don't think I've cleared this out enough. Yeah. Oh, easy start. <laughs> good for engines, good for a log. Now I'll be totally honest with you, this didn't work totally flawlessly. Ideally I think both holes need to be a little bit bigger and I need to clear out more sawdust before I try and light it. But with a bit of fettling it was pretty good. That might actually be it. As us lads were playing with this, Marie was cooking up some of her now famous nettle pesto pasta. Yes, that face you just pulled is the same face we pulled, but believe me, it doesn't sting you and it's banging. It's so big and hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought maybe... I, I mean, I'll eat till I'll be sick. They may be all yours, but maybe leave a bit. All of it? I don't know. Keep, like, mix it in as you go. That's a lot. Mix it in as you go. A bit more room. And then mix this frying pan. Quite easily the cheapest and best van life meal I've ever eaten. And if you want to try it out for yourself, Maria has her own blog. The link's down below. And on here you can see her written perspective of van life, some of our antics, her homemade candles, recipes, like this pesto pasta dish, and much, much more. The silence says it all, really. Shh. 
singing metal pasta. Got a little backfire on it. I think we might have blast off. <laughs> yes. See this. Yeah, boy. And that is the chimney clear. Swedish candle.